Welcome to Dad Club. Uh, happy to have you here. We are in the studio today with certified triple platinum singer songwriter, podcaster, and dad, Matt Fisher. No, wait, no, I'm sorry. Yay! And, oh, I'm sorry, I messed that up. I messed that up. Andy Graham. That's right. I'm sure that's right. Oh, I'm very excited. Uh, nice being here, man. Yeah. Oh, man. Psyched to be with you guys. Yeah. We just had some good pizza. That's right. Yes, we had We're an amazing lunch. All the good things already. But let's do it again. Yeah, yeah. no, we, <laughs> we spent. <laughs> All the all the emotion. He had us cry, like, cry. It was very emotional. An emotional uh, roller coaster lunch with him. In a great way, like one of those cries where you're just like, "Yeah, that felt that felt right." Yeah, that, that was right. Felt, that felt right. So thank you for being here. Yeah. Um, we wanted to obviously have you on because we all love your music, uh, but also we wanted to kind of we like to talk to dads about different experiences. Yes. Uh, you. Do you ever call yourself a rock star? People call you a rock. Can I call you a rock star? You can. I don't know. I feel like that that. Sends an homage to an, a later time. Sure, sure. <laughs> right? I'm more dad than anything else. Uh, I fit yeah. here perfectly. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Yeah, I feel right. more you're comfortable right here than on like some you know rock star show. Yeah. Right, right, right. But you are very. Uh, let's be honest. You're a famous musician uh, and a dad. Like, what is that world like? It's the ultimate grounding, which is really wonderful. Yeah, honestly, she, one of the best things about my little girl. She's two and a half. Her name's Louisiana, and she. I think anybody who's like an entrepreneur of any sort, you you can get lost in your thoughts and like you know you do something and then you're like I gotta get this done I gotta get this done to have a little girl that does not give a shit and just <laughs> is like so grounding in I either want to go outside or I want this snack yeah. or I'm not putting on my shoes. It's really the, that's one of the sweetest things she's brought to my life is a genuine break yeah. from my brain. She's like. Yeah, that's great. You just did a tour, but I want pancakes, and yeah. I don't care what you need. <laughs> I, right. I, I yeah, need exactly. them. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so let's take it back real quick, because uh, doing the deep dive, found out your dad uh, is a musician. Yeah, I got a great dad. Yeah. He's a children's singer. Red Grammar. Check him out. Anyone's yeah. listening, if you have kids, it's the best. He sings like, he has an album called Teaching Peace. He's got Hello World. It's like all really incredible messages done not cheesy, yeah. which is awesome. What was that like growing up in that household? I mean, like, did it ever get tired of, like, him just being this amazing dad that can, like, relate to you on different <laughs> levels? And um, No, I mean, he was... It, what, the, the coolest part, as I look back now, was that songwriting just was, like, a part of my life, which is so rare yeah. for, for certain people, especially someone who turned into a songwriter that I love it, to grow up at the dinner table talking about hooks and pre-courses and yeah. verses and stuff. It was, like, just kind of a part of life, you know? Yeah. I was just somewhere else with a bunch of business people, and they were saying that they grew up in a household where their dads were talking about like cash flow and all this other stuff. I was like, oh, I definitely didn't get that. But I got, I got how to do like how to write a hook, or yeah. you know, that was really cool. So my son is gonna grow up and learn how to tell terrible jokes. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Like, I learned from you. I was super head start. You. Super head start on the bad jokes. Yeah. Uh, was your dad like you ever like say something and he's like, wait, 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 say that again? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, 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 you're going to yell, yell, yell. <laughs> I, I gotta go. <laughs> originally, he wrote the first record with my mom for, uh, for my brother, so that was really sweet. Cool. And there's versions of songs where, like, Little Me is singing on the song, which is cool. That's amazing. Yeah. Did, he, did, you, uh, did you ever, like, you want to be, like, something, like a fireman, but it was like, nah, listen, this is the family business, you gotta, uh, you gotta be a singer. They but, didn't really, like, they didn't force or push me too hard into it, it was just... There were always instruments around. They were always writing songs, and then I liked doing it. So it kind of just like worked out. Um, so it, was there uh, one one thing that I, after doing a deep dive and finding out like you're a real deal positive, like it's not <laughs> it's not just a front. And we went to lunch, and we we the mask we, never we, slipped. We, we tried yeah exactly. He we is tried in a to good mood. It kind it's of like just, it's just happening. It's like method. Yeah. Kind of like a Daniel Day Lewis vibe. It's, like never... it's, it's very uh it's working. It's very, yeah. Uh which which is awesome. And like I've seen, you know, like in a bunch of interviews too, like you are you don't uh shy away from that. You're like, no, no, this is this is who I am. I I just this isn't a question. I just wanna let you know. Like and it's so well, ref, it's so refreshing. You know what it is? Like it, it it's a question of whether you think that that's why I, I love going into the pain stuff because I think if you think pain is there to make you grow then the majority of what your life is is still on the up. Like, even the, if the shit that you're going through is there to to crack you and make you stronger, then I don't really have a lot of patience for just, like, wallowing in sadness. Now, people have sadness. There's things that are important. you got to, like, work through it. But if, if you see your sadness as something that's growing you for something bigger, then it's all kind of a good good thing. Yeah. You know? That's the way – that's, like, the hack of, like – 
it's, 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 it's like a grounded optimism, yeah. you know? That, so my album title was Naive. And it's like, if you think, I know how this looks, I get it, <laughs> yeah. I'm smiley, but there's still some sort of like in a dark world, you can like, it, there's a bit of rebellion to just being like, I get it, yeah. I'm in on the joke, this is truly who I am, so I'm just going to keep smiling. Well, it's so cool to like fold it back into your art too, you know? It's yeah. Like, that's something we, we talk about so much when we're writing and things is like, how do you how do you escape that trap of having like cynicism or things like that be your like, be your armor in the world from being judged or the stuff that we put out and like. This is your only shot. Yeah. Especially as a writer, my right. God, I love the idea of trying to beat this, your own cynicism, like creating things for yourself to right. know that that's that's your job is to beat that every day, so you actually do right, or else you just wouldn't. Right? Yeah, that's like a, sort of like the personal challenge of like getting yeah, getting writing. It, it, out like any time right? that you sit down to write a song or I'm sure a sketch or anything, you have an idea, and then immediately after you have the idea, <laughs> there's like something in human that voice in your human brain that goes <laughs> sure. like, "You're the worst. There's nothing for you." <laughs> And you're like, oh God, oh God, oh sure. God, why? What sure. the hell? Why do I hate myself all of a sudden? <laughs> sure. Just for like trying a thing, you know? Yeah. And so if as long as you can like no, that's what it is. That's the game. Keep pushing. You know? Yeah, yeah. I think that's you know that idea of especially like whether it's one or one thing you're trying to accomplish or over the course of a career. That idea, I feel like they, it, I see it uh, attached to Ira Glass. The and, so good. MGR, the thing of saying like when you set out to do something, you're not going to be able to satisfy your own your own standards. Like yeah. if you decide you love to make music, you're going to have to spend some time like not liking your own music, like not being up to the goals that you set for yourself yeah. that drew you into that thing, and being able to push through that that's I have some, I'm always talking about so the good it's not just about being good in fact like if that's the only thing you enjoy about something like you're kind of stuck no you're screwed yeah. yeah it's funny about taking that now to being a dad it's yeah. similar too yeah. you, you're gonna like have a lot of situations where it just you, you think you're doing a terrible job yeah just you, keep showing up you learn while you earn all, all the time <laughs> yeah was yeah. so there are there any recent uh moments that you were like real your positivity is like really tested uh as a parent yeah, I mean, remember? honestly, the food thing right now is no joke in my house. She yeah. won't eat food. Yeah. So, okay. Is, it, is there one thing that she will eat, like peanuts or something like that? Sometimes, yeah. but then other times she'll just be like, I'm not eating anything. And then oh. I have to go to, like, I just call my friends. It literally takes me back to, like, high school basketball zone where I get, like, so competitive with this little person. You want to win. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so I... The other day we were trying to go to Disneyland, which is supposed to be awesome, right? <laughs> the, her mom's coming. She's so excited to go. There's another person coming. So, like, everybody's waiting on kind of me, but we're like, you need to eat food before we go. And then she goes, no. And the way she said no made me go, like, okay, cool. There's no way I'm losing this. <laughs> so everyone else can go to hell. Yeah. We might not go to Disneyland today because me and this little terrorist <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> are about to go to war right now. And she did this thing where she, like, picked up a, a bite of her food and she wiped it on her mouth and threw it down and just, like, <laughs> stared at me. Oh. Like, yo, this is about to go down. So I, I originally said, okay, we're not leaving until you have five bites. I don't know if anyone's ever done this. And then midway through, I was like, five is a lot of bites. Why did I say five? I, can't I, win, I, can't went, win I think I went a little high on five, yeah. but that's what I said. Well, can she count yet? Because it could be like one, five. Boom, I'll know, boom. I'll know, I'll know. <laughs> and uh, and I got her all the way to the to the fifth bite. But this is that's, that was hard. Yeah. We're like we're, we're in the zone right now where she's pushing back, and it's really sweet. And hard and tough. Just this morning. I was late to work. I, I texted him, actually. I got the text. Just this morning, because my son, who's a year and a half, he, he can say a few words, but he can really land no. He's, yeah. He, he can say it a million different ways, so he's just, no, no, no. No. And, and today, he did not want to eat breakfast, just by myself, like, come on, come on, man, like, I... I'm gonna get going. Just eat like I made eggs. I made bacon for you. Yeah. Oh, man, I made, that's a I made, real breakfast. I made hash browns. Like I'm like, if you just eat one of the three, like I'll feel like this is a win. You like bacon. You love. Everyone loves bacon. At least eat he the just bacon. Won't do it. He wouldn't. He wouldn't do it. And he pick it up, and he just give it back to me. I'm like, thank you very much. Let's try. I'm doing the airplane thing. Yeah. Everything, yeah, yeah. which like. You know, put I put on TV to distract them for a second. I don't do it a lot. Stop judging me. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know, like whatever and nothing. And, he, and I'm like, come on, just like, can you just one big bite? No. Nope. Just nope. like eat your food. Oh my gosh. Well, that's the thing is like, especially when it's a good idea, especially when it's like Disneyland or like good food. That's when they get the most power from saying no. Like I think totally. it's just like if you're the littlest person in the in the system, you <laughs> gotta true. grab power just wherever you can. No. No is a big word. I can. What can I do? I can't really like handle objects. My opposable digits not really working yet. But I can gum up the gears of production by saying no a lot. 
It, it really is, you know, like I had a moment with her early on where I remember saying to her, I need you to know that when it's good for you, I'm a brick wall. Like I'll never shake. So just so you and me know that. And she you like can't totally tell whether she understands everything I'm saying, right. but I do think that got in and now we are testing it. Oh sure. <laughs> <laughs> to its full completion <laughs> of like, wow, you're you're really pushing me all the way. I think also you said like patience. I just don't before kids, the way I've been describing it is if you have a a level of how high you feel and how low you feel, say that's one to ten throughout your life. Before kids, you just don't really go to 10 or 0 that much. You're like probably throughout the year, maybe you have one night that was like, that was an amazing night. Right. That was like an 8.2. Mm. And then you have like a terrible week and you go down to like a, I don't know, 4. With a kid, you hit like 10 and 0 <laughs> like nine times in an hour. Yeah. Just like for breakfast. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> it's cool because you, you, have to get, you have to get used to like not carrying it with you because she's over it. She's done. Sure. Right. She just took me to 10. And now she's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm still <laughs> yeah. super hyped Let up me and about this. This is a yeah, lot right yeah. now. But it's great. I yeah. I love that. Um, so obviously a lot of your, your songs and, and your experiences are, are very positive and uh, your albums are, are very positive. When are you dropping like the Dark Side of the Moon album? Like when when <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I just did that, which is really funny because I you know, I have a song screaming into the abyss. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I mean we did we have a song called Wish You Pain on the last record. Oh, yeah. And it's all about seeing your pain for what it's bringing you. The idea that you, if you went to the gym and you had no clue what was going on, it would just be a miserable experience. Mm-hmm. You should be like at the gym lifting weights being like, yo, I hate this. That's I don't know why we're doing this. Yeah. But with the understanding that you're growing your muscles and you're getting stronger and it's really good for you. So that was... Uh, that was probably as dark as I get. And a lot of people didn't understand. They're like, Andy's in, Andy's hurting right now. <laughs> <laughs> Andy really took a turn for, I thought I knew that guy. He's upset. But um, Goth phase. That's, about as, that's probably about as heavy as we've gone, which has been pretty cool. Okay, that's fair. Um, so you're uh, touring a little bit right now. Yeah. And then you're... Uh, your podcast is going is ongoing season two. Just season two, yep. Happening right now. The good parts. Super cool. The good parts. We like to go into um, the deeper questions of life. I like to ask, like, what do you think happens when we die? Uh, what's your most spiritual experience? What's the best thing, worst thing about money? I like to go into these things that take a little bit longer to unpack. Yeah. And get to really uh, see what people feel. Like, what what do you actually think about this? Yeah. I'll be like, what do you think about God? I don't care. I just want to know, like, what do you think? Zero judgments about it. But can we all just, like, talk about what? Because that's a crazy yeah. idea. Yeah. You know? Right. And so that's been really fun. That's really awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for being on. Uh, yeah. Lovely Club. hanging with you guys. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, really a blast. If you need to uh, a boost the positivity, a pick me up, listen to any of Andy's Best songs. Best music. Really. Yeah, it's fantastic. Just like and most likely, if you've and... been in the world, you've heard a bunch of his songs already. And it's probably yeah. helped you at some point. Continue to enjoy his music. Yeah. Um, so good. Thank you again. Uh, where can people check yeah, out your stuff? Uh, any live shows? Hit me up anywhere. I'm at andygram.com for tickets. And then um, I got this podcast, The Good Parts Podcast. My new album is called Naive. And yeah. uh, follow me on all this stuff. Do it. You know what I'm saying? Awesome. Cool. Thanks, yeah. man.